just a quick tour of the platform we're using for issuing the Euracool badges. So this is me logged into Open Badge Factory. And as you can see, I'm in the issuer tools. Now, we can have multiple issuers, but at the moment, I'm just going to show you what happens when you want to issue a badge. So the two badges are already set up. And if we want to issue a badge to a um, participant, um, this is the information that's already there. So there's a link to the conference in Belgium. There's the criteria explained that you get this badge because you've participated in the conference. Uh, so you're a member of the Eurocall community. Um, you can see there's numbers one to five across the top. Actually, you don't need to use all of these, but we, we won't be changing any of the details here. But in number three, select the recipients. This is where I would copy and paste the email addresses of the people who've taken part in the conference. And um, only once those are entered could I then continue to the message part of the program and pick an email template. Now, I haven't created one yet, but I will create an email text in here. And that is the message that will be sent out automatically to everybody we've put in the participant list. Um, and it has a link within the email for people to click on in order to collect their badge. And finally, once we're ready, obviously I haven't inputted any information. But once we're ready, we'd click to five and issue those badges. And the badges simply turn up as a link within an email. And what we expect people to do in order to display the badge is to set up either an open badge passport account, open badge compliant uh, compatible display system. There are many out there. Um, and there's a separate um, Google Doc which we'll use to share um, the information for participants in terms of how to collect their badge. And that will be included within the email, a link to that. So if I come to reports here, this is the area, obviously, we, we don't have um, badges up and running yet. But this is the area where we'd be able to see the um, details of who's picked a badge up, and actually um, look at the popularity of the badges and see how many people are engaging with them. So that's it, basically. That's the Open Badge Factory setup. Um, a badge, when it's issued, is not just an image. It has hard-coded metadata inside. So when it's displayed on somebody's LinkedIn profile or through Open Badge Passport or on social media, they can automatically um, display that badge. If I just quickly show you what Open Badge Passport looks like. Um, OK, let's have it in English. So you can anybody can set up a free account on Open Badge Passport. Um, it's GDPR compliant. The data is stored in Finland. This is a Finnish company. And um, you can export and share your badges in any badge compliance system. So this is Open Badge 2.0 is the current version of the standard. So that makes them very portable and you're not tied in necessarily to a badge passport. You can use other um, systems that are out there as well. Ma many people will already be using another system, whatever it may be. And that's it, really. So the factory issues the badge and it's where we as an exec can control the issuing and um, open badge passport is where individuals can share and collect and display their badges, just one of many such places.